Hi there, my name is William, creator of Morneo TV. Today I would like to share with you some of my thoughts and comments about Annie's video. Please like, share and subscribe and I would love to hear from you, so leave us a comment. Most of all though, enjoy and I hope to see you next week for the next video. Thank you. I had a difficult time through most of my school career. The schools just didn't seem to fit me and for sure I didn't fit the schools or many of the teachers. I just didn't know any better. I assumed that all school kids hated Sundays and dreaded the last day of holidays. Luckily, I had great friends and they made school bearable. So when my own children came along, my old school phobias re-emerged. I was really apprehensive. I wanted them to be happy at school and I started to think of ways that I could help them through what I saw was a necessary evil. To my delight and amazement, they love school and still do. I couldn't believe this. Loving school was an alien concept to me. So during parents' meetings, I would ask all sorts of questions just to try to understand and challenge my experiences and perceptions. Finland has a very good education reputation and is ranked as one of the best in the world. I wanted to know why and so discover what I had misunderstood about my schooling. Then along came Annie. I met her at a parents' meeting. She was my child's sixth grade teacher. Um, I just remember waiting for her outside the classroom in the corridor, which in my experience was not a good place to be. And on the door of the classroom were a number of very positive quotes. And this really gave me a very good feeling. When I met Annie, I found her to be very enthusiastic, positive and knowledgeable. She was also more than happy to take the time to share and explain things to me. So naturally I was delighted back in 2019 when she agreed to give me an interview. At the time I was also very lucky to catch her because she was very busy at the end of the school year, plus she was moving out of her apartment and she was about to go off to Vietnam. The interview itself was amazing. Annie is very bright and insightful. Her stories and explanations were wonderful and in some places in the video you can actually hear me gasping and poor Annie, who was being very professional, kept laughing at my shocked facial expressions. I found her stories about Thailand and Cambodia particularly moving, and it made me realize how extremely fortunate I was to be born into my family and get the education I did. During editing, I was constantly reminded of the quote, nothing makes you more arrogant than luck. From what I've learned and experienced, I'm a great fan of our local school and the Finnish education system. In Finland, it's every child's right to a first-class education, and this is irrespective of where they grow up or what socio-economic background they come from. Our local school is free, funded by both local and state authorities, as are all the schools in Finland. The facilities are first-class, the teachers are professional and teach in a very informal, happy, inclusive environment, which is very different to some of the schools I went to. Classrooms are modern, well-equipped, and children of all abilities are in the same class. There are also teachers assistants to help with the daily running of classes and special teachers to help with learning difficulties or give elocution lessons or to help with health issues. For example, my daughter went to go and see a specialist to help her out with travel sickness. But that's another story for another time. I think what really sets the Finnish education system apart is the Finns themselves who on the whole believe that everybody is valuable and has something positive to contribute to society. Nobody is left behind. The Finnish government does not view education as a cost or a drain on the national budget. It sees it as an investment and as such expects a return. They invest in their youth and in return get productive members of society who contribute to and develop and grow the national economy. This results in a society that's able to support each other, respect each other, is happy and is able to fulfill the wants or needs of most people. One of the ways that you can measure the success of this system is in Finland's low crime rate. Of course, the Finnish system isn't perfect and Finns would be the first to admit that, but I do think it's a very good example of a system that could be implemented for the benefit of us all. Finnish schools are not about status, money, class, achieving academic or sporting distinction to enhance the reputation of a single school. 
It's about giving children the support, the opportunities and the skills that they need to do whatever they want with their lives, not what they feel obliged or duty bound to do.